Welcome to recommendation number eight, I think. Six, seven, eight. Um, for Blogmas. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Today I'm going to be recommending some arts and crafts, Christmassy ones, of course. Um, so the works have kind of helped me out with this post. So all their links will be below. Um, oh my goodness. It's a very big box, you know. I feel like a lot of the time, on like YouTube videos and stuff, they don't give the full um, perspective of how big the package or the box is. Um, okay, so half of it was that. <laughs> um, uh oh. <laughs> One minute. I'm confused. It looks as if there's only two things in here. Okay, well the first thing is this little cabinet um, with 25, yeah, 25 drawers. That is gonna be for one of my friends. Um, I asked my friends whether they would like, my two best friends asked them whether they'd like an, um, like an advent calendar like that, or just like a box decorated. Of course, Emmy's in the box. Um, one of them wanted the advent calendar and one wanted a box, so I've got two, two to decorate. Hello? Do you mind? Because I need to, I'm hoping, there's meant to be like loads of little embellishments and stuff to glue onto the boxes and the drawers. And I'm hoping that they're inside the box that's still in there. Right, can you move? Come on, get out. Thank you. Um... sounds like they are okay so this is the box which is very big Um, I did choose extra large and it did tell you the sizes but I'm useless at like trying to imagine sizes of things and I know I'll, like get a ruler out or whatever easy straightforward but not me yeah they're inside so I got the box and the advent calendar and then to decorate them I got loads of little things. I got some stag antler things, stags, heads with the antlers, um, and they're like glittery. Got, um, got multicolored snowflakes, blues and greys and whites. Got these, which I think are really cute, little glitter ivy. Cute. That is ivy, isn't it? not ivy is it what are they called I'm gonna have to google that one also got these I got two of them because oh there's 161 of each thing in it oh there's numbers too um like letters and numbers to um you just like push them out and then glue them on I got two lots of those also got these stickers um, that have like loads of funny, not funny, have like loads of little sayings and things on them for Christmas. And then I got this pack which has all got like, it just says handmade by and made with care and everything. Um, little stickers that go on them. And then little glittery candy canes. Cute. Small snowflakes, but they're like really embellished, pretty ones. I got this little mini bunting thing. Um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. I feel like I might, cause I can't. I don't think you can. It, they're only they're tiny. These little buttons. It's not like it could go around the house anywhere, really. Um. So then I don't know how I'd put it onto the boxes or anything I don't know I'll figure that one out but I like them oh got three of those letter things also got little Santa hats with little cotton buddy bits on them and loads of glitter a glitter confetti shaker it's got all the different glitters in it and I think you just like yeah you turn it 
the lid so that the hole goes on like which side you want the glitter to come out. Brilliant. That's my thumbs up position right now because I'm waiting for surgery. Um, since last Christmas, by the way. So no opening bottles of Prosecco on Boxing Day because that's how I did the injury. Um, so I'm going to decorate these. I was debating like getting some paint but I quite like the whole sort of rustic wooden vibe at the minute. So I think that um, I think I'm just going to leave them as wood and just decorate them like that instead of painting over how pretty the wood is and stuff. Um, and I think that the friends that I'm making them for, so the boxes for Georgie and the um, advent calendars for Martin, I think that it's kind of up their street, the wood as well, just keeping it as wooden. I think it's kind of like something they might like as well. So I think I'll do Georgie's first. Um, I think I'm going to go into a little time lapse now <laughs> of me doing the box because also I want to play some Christmas music and it won't let me upload it if you can hear the Christmas music. So time lapses don't record sound. Look at my hat, I love it. Um, I've had this hat for years by the way, I really like it. So I'm going to crack on with this box and I'll show you guys what I'm putting on. Georgie's Christmas 2020. I feel like it's missing something here. But I didn't want to go overboard with the stickers. I might put one more in that space. Because looking at it where now on the video, it looks like it's missing something in that space. Oh dear. Um, I try to keep it quite simple. I didn't want to like overdo the um stickers on it with it being like because I had to keep in mind that I've got that big advent calendar thing to do as well. Um, put him. Now I'm thinking maybe one up there as well. Honestly, I'm such a perfectionist. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to go overboard with the stickers on the box and then find that I didn't have enough left to do the entire advent calendar. But also, I think Georgie's quite like quite girly, she likes her pinks and her sparkles. Right. That looks better. In the corner there it says, um, made just for you. And I like the little Santa hats I put on some of the letters and the number. Looks like they're wearing the Santa hats. <laughs> and I was happy there was a little apostrophe for Georgie's, which is really good. Because I love me um, punctuation, you know. So, I'm going to leave that as done. I'm thinking, I have actually got like a massive gift bag for her. It'll fit in it. And I'm thinking I might put, I might wrap her presents and put them inside the box. Because the box is quite big, so there's enough room for that. Um, so that's hers. So now I'm going to do Mark. Mm, shall I do the advent calendar now? Do the advent calendar another night. So next time you see me, I'll be in a completely different outfit, but I'll probably still have my hat on. <laughs>
And that's Martin's advent calendar finished. Um, I've put, obviously the glue needs to dry. I've just put some little bits on like some of the doors every so often, not all of the doors, because I didn't want it to be too much. Um, and then that one says 25th of December. So that'll be the last one. And that's got Martin's advent. Hopefully you like it, and I hope you guys like it as well. Oh, also, there's a bit on the top. Ooh. May our days be merry and bright. 50% handmade. Have a holly jolly Christmas.